Kate back with another video. Um, today we're just going to do a bit of a comparison between two shoes um, that I have. One's one that you've recently seen, okay? It's um, it's the Williams shoes, okay? We're going to be doing a, a comparison between the OG and also the Slim. Um, <clears throat> the Williams OG one that I've got will be brand new, um, but the Williams Slim which I have is one that I've previously skated. Um, so we're gonna look at that. So you know, sorry if it's got a bit of wear to it, but um, I thought I'd give you a comparison between the two. What you can expect? What's the differences between the two? Fit-wise, look-wise, all the good stuff. Okay. If you're new to the channel and this is the first video you're checking out, go check out the rest of my videos. I love skate shoes. I love skateboarding. Um, and if you could subscribe, like, do all the goodness, that'd be brilliant. But yeah, let's get into the video. So, <clears throat> Williams OG shoe um, came out uh, a while ago, you know, came out back in the day originally in the 90s and then they've obviously reissued it um, in fairly recent times, okay? Um, and then also they've looked to, you know, do a, a slim model because obviously nowadays in this day and age in terms of skateboarding, um, you know, from the 90s all the way up to present, you know, shoes have got slimmer and slimmer. And obviously that's probably the norm nowadays. A lot of people like slim shoes and I, I like them too, you know. Um, there's pros to cons to both and you know, I have my own preference for skating, obviously you guys have. Um, but the general consensus and the general, in terms of popularity, would be that people like slimmer shoes. Um, so I thought when DC came up with this idea, or, or when I saw it, when they saw that they were uh, making slim alternatives to older models, such as the Williams and the Kalis, and obviously the legacy. <clears throat> I thought it was a really good idea because it, you know it's a mixture of both. Um, but obviously the OG guys, the people that prefer the OG style, will obviously naturally na um, will obviously gravitate towards the OG remakes, which is fine. And anybody that likes the O, who's seen a DGK video or seen an old Kalis video, says, "Oh, I like them, but I'm not too sure. You know, I can't get along with the bigger shoe." You know, they have a, a couple of, not obviously it's not an exact copy because some of the cases take inspiration from one shoe. But if they like the look of it, then they can buy a shoe that's kind of reminiscent of the OG shoe. So this is the Williams Slim. This is the colorway I got. I got this a while ago. I have skated it on and off. Um, so, you know, it is a bit dirty. It isn't complete, completely ruined, but um, I have skated it on and off. And there is a lot of positives to this, like, you know, it does look obviously similar, but it's it's obviously different. And I'll get the OG out so you can see. Um, let's get this one out. So it's a look. So then there's two side by side. Obviously there's a massive size difference, okay, in terms of height of the shoe. Massively. So as you can see here, the slim is a lot more lower. It looks, I've kind of found this with some of the shoes, it looks a little bit longer as well. So if you look at that shoe, and you look at that shoe, it seems a bit long, which I think DC need to address because I said this with the Legacy shoe as well. Um, if you just look at them, that looks like, all. Oh, it looks, it's obviously a big shoe, don't get me wrong, but it all looks um, proportionate to the shoe, you know? If you look at it, whether or not it's reminiscent or the exact same as the old shoe, it looks kind of all in proportion. With this shoe, it sort of does, it's not as bad, but it's again, this part here, I think this part goes on a little bit too long. It starts curling up, which you can see there. And that's what I said about the legacy. I like the look of it, but I think it goes on a little bit too much. I think even if they took a hair off, like a little tiny bit, I think it would just make a massive, you know, a massive difference. But yeah, they are similar in terms of look. So that's on side to side. Obviously it's a slimmer model, so it's gonna be shorter. Um, the sole's slightly different. So with the OG, you can clearly see there's a kind of a triangle bit in the middle with a gap, a noticeable gap, and it's obviously different. And with this, it's just the whole white. Obviously different colorways will look different, don't get me wrong, but there is a slight difference, you know. This triangle but isn't really a, a cut out, it's more flat um, and it's just one bit of foam all the way along and it looks sort of similar, but obviously it's not. That's the two toes, obviously it is different, 
obviously the tongue, I think they kind of got the tongue, um, the way the tongue and also the laces look, that's pretty well, you know, pretty much exactly the same and the way they go about it looks fairly similar, so I think that's good, but the front obviously is slightly different. Um, they have sort of kind of gone for the same design, but it is obviously different. And then the insides, with this one, and the inside of that one. You know, obviously with this you got the line bits here, but it doesn't go onto the side. But the line bits here that kind of go through from the phone up into the upper. And at the back, you can see it's completely, well not completely different, but the design in general at the back is sort of different. Where, you know, the OG goes like that. With it, this one just goes like that. So they are different. And I don't think, I'm not fully against, I don't think the slim should be exactly the same as this, but just slimmer. Um, but just in terms of comparison. So we're gonna look at this one. So the one thing I do like is that tongue bit. So when you look down, I'll put this on my Instagram as well. I think that's such a nice silhouette in terms of the front there. I think that is spot on. Um, the only thing I would recommend or would prefer is that tongue to be a little bit higher um, when coming up. If it was like just like a little bit higher, simple, like like that, where it kind of came up a little bit more, that would look sicker. But yeah, it is fairly similar. I mean, like I said, I don't know what DC's ambitions were when creating a slimmer model, but I'm guessing they were to make a slimmer model, not a remake, but a slimmer style shoe. Um, a little bit more spot on than obviously the Kayla shoes because they're like they take inspiration, it's not like an exact model. They've looked at the shoes like we're going to make a, a similar DC slim shoe of the Williams, and I think it's good. I do think it's good. Um, again, the only criticisms I would have would be the with the front bit, make it a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter, you know, take a hair off because I think you know, in skateboard or when we skate, when we skate decks, little differences can make big you know big differences so you know some people that skate 8.25 you know but then go up to 8.5 they might not be able to do it you might look at it and think well it's only you know 0.25 different but it makes a difference with this i think it would the same kind of um same mentality and the same kind of approach would apply that if you just take this nose but a little bit more slimmer sorry a little bit more shorter then it would make a big difference and don't get me wrong when it's straight out of the box it looks all right but it's when you start skating it it starts going like that and it just makes the shoe look like you know and that's what i'm worried about with the legacy because that's similar obviously it's not as well made okay um you've got the typical foamy bit inside like i explained all the some bits there but like i said the same bit as it that happens to be in the, the two other shoes that we did um you know, it's, it's a not bad shoe. It's a bit thin here as well with the DC shoe size, like I previously said. That's the bottom, which is a bit muddy, but that's a sick design. I like that. It's like, you know, take on that. You know, sort of similar. No, I'm not against it being any different, but that looks, that looks good. Um, but yeah, similar sort of bottoms. The fit is definitely different with these. What size is this? All right, this is a 10 and a half. Um, they're true to size with, uh, with, this, with this. With this, I don't think it's true to size. I think you have to size up a half because this is a ten, and I normally fit ten or ten and a half. But this is a you know a lot tighter. So you know <clears throat> that's the differences with that. Um, but yeah, it's just as obviously the difference in terms of the uppers as well. I mean, this is majority leather suede, but this is more suedey with a little bit of suedey leather. But this is more like suede. If I'm being honest. <coughs> Triple stitch at the front, um, similar look, but yeah, it is a cool shoe. Um, apart from the uh, bigger tongue, in my personal opinion, if, it, if you've got it a bit, a bit like that, I think it would look sick. But it flops down, so it's kind of like that. So that's why it doesn't have the similar look of that. If you get what I mean. So apart from the front bit and the tongue, it's a decent shoe. I scared it, it's a nice shoe, it's reminiscent of the OG. Um, and I think they got a spot on. If they made those two adjustments, I think it would make it a lot better. Um, in terms of price point as well, this retails over hundred pounds. And I think you could sort of justify it because it's kind of well built. Um, 
and it's a big shoe and the materials used are, are, are good you know 100 pounds still a lot of money in my opinion i don't really like spending that i definitely didn't pay that um but the retail is 100 pounds okay 105 pounds i think you okay, know this retails on the dc store for i think 75 pounds and i think that's way way too much this is no more than a 50 pound shoe okay um the materials used the way it feels and just the quality does not justify 75 pounds in my opinion um you look at some of the other shoes that are out there for 50 pounds and, and you know they, they're this you know it just doesn't it doesn't warrant it and i think you would probably if you were to look at it in person if you've never seen one of these i think you would say the same don't get me wrong there's a lot of stores especially in the uk that sell this shoe um and they have sales on all the time you know and i think you can get it sometimes i think i did bought this for like 30 quid so i think that's a good price but 75 pounds on the dc website i would not pay that okay i would look around try and find a deal because this is not worth 75 pounds okay um but yeah if you like the williams shoe and you just don't feel like you want a big chunky shoe like this because it is quite heavy and it is big and you want a slimmer alternative then i would definitely recommend it look around though um but yeah that's the differences between the two i'm not gonna get the other shoes out because you know the other one's pretty busted, busted up multiple colorways in this one as well um it's probably about seven or eight i reckon um and they you know dc release more and more every kind of every every so often every quarter or whatnot only a few there's only like three colorways i think in this one you got the white and red one which is a limited run anyway like a love park sort of pack but this is also called the love part one so i'm a little bit confused maybe i'm getting it wrong but then you got the all black one with the red dc sign you got the all gray one with the yellow as well and you've also got the white and red one if you can find that then brilliant but i don't think you will because it's kind of fairly rare now they only released it um it comes with the kayla shoe as well so i don't think you'd be able to get that but those two colorways but this one has got multiple colorways different 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 um and some of them look a bit you know a bit multi-colored multi-colored sorry and it's a bit wacky but some of the ones like this one i think looks cool they got an all black one that's you know similar to this which is cool but yeah try one out try and get it for a decent price um you know 75 pounds in my opinion like i said is too expensive but they're both good shoes this is a great slim model not really slim i would like to add but it's a great alternative to this shoe okay if you want a more slimmer down model but yeah, thought I'd do a, a, like a little video based on that, guys, um, if you're interested in buying it. But yeah, when I get a new pair of these, I'll do a bit more of an intensive review. But that's just a slight comparison to the both. Again, thanks for watching. If you could subscribe, that would be brilliant. Do all the goodness. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Check out my Instagram page, DGHSkate. Sorry, DJHSkate. Um... There's a lot of stuff I put on there um, and I'll just appreciate a follow. Okay, there is, again, there's a giveaway. It's currently a giveaway, so check that out as well. Go to my Instagram page and check it out. All the details will be in the bio, sorry, the link, sorry, will be in the description below. God, <clears throat> my voice is going again. But yeah, again, thanks guys. Thanks for the support. DJH Peace. We out. Yeah.